Hello everyone, my name is Cal with Java Print Studios and I wanted to talk to you today about the Behringer X-Touch, the big unit, the X-Touch, using it with Reason 8. Um, I don't know if this works with Reason 6 and 7 and 4 and 5, but I do know it works with Reason 8 and what I wanted to do is go into the setup of that. It's a really involved process and uh, just so you know, I do have uh, a document that I've created for this um, setup and it features also what buttons work with what parts of the mixer and I have that for sale on my website for five dollars at www.javaprints.com that's j-a-v-a-p-r-i-n-t-z dot com and you can check that at the link below there and that'll um, you get out go out there and then hit the store click on the store link and that will give you the PDF document and again like I said it's only five dollars but it goes into a lot of the detail of um, how to use this nine motorized fader mixer with reason I mean this is really uh, groundbreaking and it does work with reason and it just really enhances your experience with reason and I've been looking for a way to control the SSL mixer with uh, an external control surface for the long time and this is actually one of the best ones that work with uh, the SSL mixer and reason so uh, without any further ado let's go ahead and jump in I'll get into the setup and again the, the full document is on my website at javaprints.com and uh, go out there and take a look at that and, and download it. It's, like I said, it's only five bucks, but it'll save you a lot of time and scouring the internet or anything like that to find out uh, how this mixer works with reason. Because there's really, I haven't, I, I've looked, and I'm sure there may be something out there, but I, I looked for hours and hours and couldn't find anything. So I decided to dive in and uh, do this on my own. And I found out, went through every button on the. Uh, the uh, Behringer X Touch and found out what it does and doesn't do with Reason 8. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you want to do here is uh, you in the on the Mac here. Um, what you want to do is go into your uh, um, Reason menu and uh, preferences. And in Windows, it's going to be the same. You know, whatever gets you to preferences. You're going to go to the preferences, and then you're going to go to Control Surface. And then what you want to select is um, uh, under control surface you want to select add and then uh, under the manufacturer you're going to go Mackie right there and then you're going to go control and then um, I would go ahead and name the mixer uh, something that you could remember easily but I just say Behringer um, X-Touch just for simplicity so you know exactly where it is sorry okay and then under the input you're going to select uh, X-Touch INT if you have your X-Touch hooked up USB you should see these things and then under the output uh, you're gonna have X-Touch INT as well so your input will be X-Touch INT and your output will be X-Touch INT so I'm going to cancel this because I already have this set up right here. And um, that lets you know that once you get the green check mark that it is already set up and you can just go ahead and exit out of that. So the next thing what I would do here is go ahead and set up um, five uh, audio tracks and five MIDI tracks. And uh, the reason why I would do that is so that um, you there's some control features that work on the MIDI that aren't available on the audio so you want to see that those are working and that's why I would go ahead and set up a uh, the five audio and five MIDI tracks and the reason why I say five also is because you can also see if your banking feature is working because there's nine motorized uh, faders um, actually eight of which are for tracks so if you hit the banking feature the fader bank feature then it should bank over to the ninth or the yeah the the ninth track or tenth track and and lets you know that the banking feature is working so that's why i would set up the tracks um once you do that then um the the thing that you'll want to do next is to go ahead and um move 
Uh, you can detach this mixer up here, uh, but I'm working on one screen here, so I'm just going to leave it up here and then scroll through it. But I would detach the mixer, and then you're going to go and uh, go up here to Options, and then you're going to go to Surface Locking, and then you're going to select um, your uh, Behringer X-Touch, which we created, and then you want to select Lock the Device to, you want to select the drop down master select section. That's what you want to drop, uh, select the uh, uh, lock the device to. And then you just close it out. You don't need to open up surface preferences. You just go ahead and close it out right here. And then you should see, as you can see up here, my faders are moving right here. Each one of them move. And also my master fader right there moves as well. And then if you scroll down, you're uh, in this uh, mode right here, which is pan surround mode. And I'll explain that in my document that I have out online uh, at javaprints.com, J-A-V-A-P-R-I-N-T-Z.com. You click on the store link, and I have a document out there that goes through detail by detail on how to use this mixer with Reason 8. And it's only $5. And uh, once you purchase it through PayPal, then I will go ahead and uh, email you the document and it outlines everything and I have arrows on there pointing to what buttons to, to select to do certain functions and everything, but that's what you will do. And um, it, with this right now, it's just got uh, in pan surround mode, <clears throat> it has um, the pan buttons are working here and then also you know the track buttons work here. And also here, the, the master fader here works as well. But there's other functionality to this. And again, like I said, go out to my website and um, you will see, uh, get the, you can buy, purchase the document out there that goes through detail by detail on how to do this. And it also, there's some features that um, the X-Touch does as far as the devices in here too. It does give you the ability to um, cycle through different patches within a device and I believe it gives you some device functionality here too so um, again uh, this is Cal with Java Prince go out to my website uh, www.javaprince.com and click on the store icon and you'll see the Behringer X-Touch uh, document out there for five dollars and go ahead and purchase that and you know you can get started using this wonderful uh, control surface with Reason 8 and I don't think there's anything out there I've seen uh, that that works with Reason like this other than the uh, Nectar Panorama and I think that the P4 has one motorized fader but this gives you like complete mixer control pretty much I, and it again it's like 80% uh, of the features you can control in there and that's quite a bit considering the XSL mixer is uh, a pretty large mixer so uh, this is Cal. Hope to talk to you guys soon. Give me any feedback, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll have more tutorials out here on uh, using this X-Touch with uh, Ableton and also using it with um, uh, Studio One as well. Those are the other two DAWs that I use as well, and uh, I'll go into some detail on um, using the X-Touch with that as well. Behringer has some nice videos out there, but again, I think uh, a lot of it doesn't function like they do in the videos. It's ever since they had this 1.14 uh, update, uh, certain things don't function like they say they do in the videos. So um, um, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Give me your feedback, and after you, you know, go out, if you happen to purchase the document and everything, give me your feedback and let me know how it works for you. This is Cal signing off. Talk to you guys later. Okay, peace.